Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another test for normality using a data set that is much closer to what we would call a normal distribution. Again, we have what we call our probability paper or a probability graph. On the left side, in the middle of the paper, we're at the 50% point. Then we go up to 100% going up and 0% coming down. Notice that the distance between consecutive 10% points gets larger and larger and larger as you go up and gets larger and larger and larger as you go down. So then you find your initial data point and your final data point, 3 and 8. You put a point down somewhere around the 0.1 or 1% for the 3. You do the same about 99 or 99.9% .9 for the 8. And then you draw a straight line across. And then you draw the what we call the ogive value of the number of data points that you've had, what percent or what fraction of data points you have when you get to a certain data point. Since we have one number three, that's 10% of the total set, so you're up to 10% here. The number four occurs twice, so then with the threes and the fours, you have 30% of your data set. The five occurs three times, so that gives you 60% of the data set. Six occurs twice, that gives you 80% of the data set. Seven occurs once, that gives you 90% of the data set. And eight occurs once, that gives you 100% of the data set. So now what you do is you, you plot the points on the probability graph according to each data point. So for the number three, you go from zero to 10%. Sometimes it's actually good to put the range of percent down that you had 0% before you had the data point. With the data point, you're up to 10%. So you draw the line and the dot here at 10%. For the number four, you now have 30% of your data points. So you draw a dot at 30%, but you start from 10 to 30%. So you draw the range. With the number five, there's three of them, so you go from 30 to 60%. So for the number five, you start at 30%, you go up to 60%, you put the dot there. For the number six, there's two of these here, you go from 60 to 80%. So for the number six, you start at 60, you go to 80%. For the number seven, you go from 80 to 90% of your data. For the number seven, start at, where am I here? Seven, right here, you start at 80, go to 90%. And for the number eight, you go from 90 to 100%. For the number eight, from 90 to 100%. So you put the range for each data point. And then you notice that in many cases, the range goes right across that straight line. That means you're very close to a normal distribution and the points do not deviate very far from the lines. You're much closer to the line. That means you're much closer to a normal distribution. Of course, with only 10 data points, it's not that easy to show that, but with many data points, it makes it much easier to see if you're close to that, that diagonal line or not. The closer you are, the more you are at a normal distribution in your data. And you can see, since we're very close here, the data points do not deviate very far from that diagonal line, which indicates that you're close to a normal distribution with your data. And that is how we do the test for normality.